Well, hello, YouTubers. How you guys doing? Today I'm up here at Brothers Auto Sales in Bernie, Texas. I'd like to give a big thanks for providing the truck featured in today's review. Links to their website and contact info can be found in the video description. So today, I'm here to bring you this 2010 Ford F550. This is going to be a complete and in-depth review of the F550. We'll start the engine, show it off, go over many of the performance specs, and show you all the features that this truck has to offer. So we're going to get started by walking around the exterior. This is the XL trim. It does have a Oxford white clear coat exterior. The emblem is a bit faded off. But this truck has gotten a lot of use out of it over the years. It's got, it's got 16 inch wheels on, Mich on Michelin XZE tires. These are radials. Does have the toolbox on the side rear. It is hold up by this bungee cord because I believe the latch is broken. But anyway, let me see if I can't show you inside this thing. There we go. Of course, you do have to have a key to get inside. <laughs> Does have mud guards down there. Fifth wheel gooseneck hitch. I like that the mud guards are actually held on the, by these metal flates so they don't flap around. Spare tire rack right down there. All right, that's all around the exterior of this truck. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go on the interior. For an XL model, I'm actually surprised that this does have remote keyless entry. Inside, this does have the, the gray cloth interior. How about your power options right here? Your power windows, power door locks, and power mirrors. So, let's go ahead and jump inside. Overall, this is a very nice truck. So now we'll go ahead and start the engine. It does have 245,000 miles in its odometer. Very high mileage, but this is all highway miles, I can tell you that. So, now let's go ahead and start the engine. It's got a vinyl wrapped steering wheel. Nice and smooth power assisted steering. Does feel a bit spring loaded at some times, but that's normal for a heavy duty truck. It's got the 5 speed 5R110 automatic transmission with low gear selection. I don't know if you heard that backup beeper there. Nice. Alright, now let's go ahead and turn on the lights. Hazards. Driver's window is automatic down. Alright, now let's check out the exterior. Alright, now it's going to go back in, shut off all the lights, and now I'm going to pop the hood and show the engine. At the biz 
business end of this F550, we find it's 6.4 liter power stroke turbo diesel V8. Overhead valve design with four valves per cylinder. Produces 350 horsepower and 650 foot-pounds of torque. I'll show you right here. There's a moderate amount of blow-by, but if you set the cap down and it doesn't blow off, you don't have a bad piston ring and you don't have cylinder pressure going in the crankcase. very strong and with all those miles you think some people watching this video are probably thinking there's no way a 6.4 liter power stroke can last for over 200,000 miles well here's living proof that it can use its intercooler up front there it's just a very smooth running engine and as for fuel economy these trucks are not required to meet the EPA but you can get an average of a 14, 15 miles a gallon, depending on your towing and driving characteristics. So, let's go ahead and shut the hood. Now we'll go back inside. Now we'll go ahead and see how it sounds. Very smooth running engine. Parking brakes located right down here. Just press to set. And then the indicator light shows right up there in the dash. Then pull this lever here to release. Alright, now let's go ahead and shut the door. Roll up the window and check out some of the interior features. It does have its basic radio right above here. Right here are your six presets. Folders right down here. We'll wind and fast forward. Play and pause. Shuffle. Track seek. Volume, tune up here. This does have a six disc CD changer. Eject right up there. Auxiliary, CD, and AM, FM. Your climate control switch is right down here. There's your fan speed, temperature, and your different zones. Front defrost, max AC, AC control, mirror defrost, and recycler four auxiliary switches right here they're not hooked up to anything right now but it does have the switch built in if you want to run aftermarket lights the previous owner does have a fire extinguisher installed because he's hauling heavy loads that it's mandatory to have a fire extinguisher in visors mirror for the passenger does have flip out cup holders. The previous owner did install an aftermarket iPhone charger right there, or iPod charger, anything of that nature. Glove box. You have a storage pocket down there. Reading lights right there. Does have a steering wheel cover for, for the steering wheel, obviously, since it's worn out. It is in the back if you want to throw it on. Cruise controls off to the left. Wiper controls on the turn signal stock. Does have a tilt steering column. Does have a manual sliding seat with manual lumbar support and manual recline. I'm going to show you the back. Here's your view of your back seat. It's pretty basic. The bottom does fold up for extra cargo space. It does have adjustable seat belts right there. Overall, this is a pretty basic truck. Built to haul anything. So now let's go ahead and shut it down.
Well guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this in-depth review of the 2010 Ford F550XL flatbed. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.